Hey, Trevor Matthews with another two minutes with Trevor. I want to talk about digital discus and how they work. So what a digital compressor is, is a modulation compressor to really match the system load. So you run a really tight suction. So you get good quality liquid going out to your metering devices. And it's a specially designed head with a solenoid on it and a special valve plate and special gaskets. You also need a controller with it. So what happens is that you have some unloaders on it right here. And you have a solenoid, which is right here. When, there's no, when this is not energized, it is fully loaded, the compressor. When this is energized, it puts discharge gas right under here. So under the head is discharge gas. And it pushes these down. If you, you can see, one is a little lower than the other. That is normal. That is normal, okay? And so what happens when the discharge disenergizes, it pushes the gas down and it blocks these. So here's a specially designed valve plate and it blocks these so there's no compression happening. And it's done on pulse width modulation. This is a 3D compressor so it can go from 10% to 100%. So if it's loaded for 10 seconds and then unload it for 10 seconds, that's 50% capacity. But you also need to be aware of this is the whole point of it. You can take your suction on a multiple compressor application where it's got a massive range and turn it down into a few PSI range. And then you take hundreds and hundreds of cycles a day onto the multiple compressor application down to very minimal. It could be less than 20. Okay, can you retrofit these? Yes, you can retrofit the 3D. There's special um, kits that you need, but you get the right kit, you get the right controller, and you can retrofit them as well as the four and six Ds can be retrofit. Check out the application engineering bulletins. I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. Throw some comments below. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.